Hello and welcome to my channel. Welcome to the Digital Black Magic channel. Today I have gotten an old laptop. Old means 10 years roundabout. It runs Windows Vista. Yes, it does. And you should not. So please stop running Windows Vista now. And that is exactly what we're going to do today. I'm trying to upgrade the machine referred to me as an elephant because it's a heavy machine to a later version of Windows. In this case, Windows 7. Windows 7 is supported for another year and after that we will see what happens to the machine next. So let's get right to it. Let's upgrade the elephant. This is the machine referred to as an elephant. We're going to upgrade the system to Windows 7. I already inserted the Windows 7 installation media into the DVD drive. The first steps of the installation are well known. First, you need to select the language you want to install Windows in. After that, you select the hard drive which you want to use to install. It is going to become interesting when the initial setup is done. To avoid downloading all the updates from Microsoft, I pre-downloaded those to save time in the installation process. The so-called offline updater can do all the hassle for you. Updating a clean Windows 7 it's a painful job. It takes hours. I will leave a link to the updater in the video description and I will explain its functionality in a future video. Since we are in Germany, it's perfectly suitable to select the German options for the Windows installation. We just click continue, which is weiter in German. And then, of course, install now, which is jetzt installieren in German. We will have to accept the license agreement. And then I select the benutzerdefinierte Installation, which is user-defined installation or custom installation. I select this because I want to install Windows clean onto the system. This machine contains two hard disks. You can see a recovery partition on one of the disks. This is a common practice by the manufacturer to enable the customer to factory reset the system. Since we don't need Windows Vista any longer, I will delete all the partitions and grab the user's data I backed before once the installation is done. I freed up all the disks. Now we have 2 times 250 gigabytes of free space. 
I select the first disk to install Windows on. As usual, when it comes to Windows setups, it continues at some point. Now it's asking for a username and a computer name. I said user as username and the computer name is automatically derived from that. Then I click OK and skip the password for now. Fortunately, you are able to skip the serial number in this case, that is brilliant, because I don't know if the machine works with Windows 7. So I select, I don't have a license key. Now we are asked to select our options regarding the Windows updates. I go for the recommended settings, recommended by Microsoft is to install all important updates. The pre-selected time zone is correct, so I continue. We don't need network at this point in time, so I skip that. The initial setup is done. Now it's time to copy the offline updates onto the hard disk. The USB flash drive contains updates for Windows 7 through to Windows 10, including the server variants. So the copy of the data takes time. The data have been copied successfully. That means we can install the updates offline. In order to do so, I switch to the client's directory in the offline update folder and execute the update installer within that directory. I will create a video in the future to explain the details of the offline updater. It's a perfect tool when using Windows 7 or 8. It becomes obsolete when using Windows 10. There is a usual security warning when executing potentially harmful files. Since this is a clean Windows 7 installation, the Internet Explorer 11 is not installed. The same goes for the .NET framework and some other components you may select in this dialog here. It is crucial to select automatic restarts to get the most benefit out of that software. I will leave the camera rolling to give you an idea of the process.
Now Internet Explorer 11 is going to be installed. The whole process will take hours. Here I am again. It's another day. It took ages to install all the updates. I went to Asus's website to download the drivers for this machine. I will show you how to install the drivers with Bluetooth as an example. Unfortunately, my camera decided to turn itself off. Most of the drivers provided by ASUS worked just fine. Unfortunately, not all of them. I had to go to Intel's webpage to download the mainboard drivers and to Nvidia's page to download the drivers for the graphics card. It is a very old machine, so it was great to find almost all drivers. Almost all? Yes. Because one thing I couldn't find. The fingerprint sensor doesn't work because there is no driver available to me at this moment. Unfortunately, the machine had to go back to the owner. But I will find another example for you in the future on how to find drivers and how to install them. For now, all what's left is saying thank you to you for watching. I would appreciate a like. And if you want to see more of these videos, subscribe to my channel. I will see you again soon. Have a nice day.